Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Woo! French. Paul's favorites and. Baby. What up? <laughs> like Captain Sparkle, Steven for that. <laughs> so so much, so so Howdy, folks. Paul Gonzalez, we're back. We're here with favorites at, at, for the culture. A numbskull. What up? Say something else. Say something else. I don't know. Say, say something else. Uh, fuck. Keep it. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good, right? So what's going on today is we're going to be painting our favorite thing um, from high school. Yeah, from high school. Paint favorite thing from high school. It's the favorite class favorite class favorite like lessons or whatever okay we're doing our favorite lesson or like what did, what did we're doing our favorite class all right we're doing our favorite class now what's his favorite class i don't know what was mine i barely I don't know. know right <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna fucking figure it out though right. i'm gonna be i'm gonna try to make a numb school uh, uh, i think my middle blob got a little bit you always gotta start with the middle one first. I think I already fucked that off. You can draw it on t over and over. That's what I usually do. I usually have like hella lines before you, I can even see like the actual one I like. It's always about the mistakes. The painting, when you, once you paint it, it covers everything. You should go to hardcore shows, right? Yeah. Hardcore shows and then like post hardcore, like what pop, pop punk type shit. Did you go to any fucking shows? Yeah, I went to a show. I went to Action Bronson. That was in high school? Yeah, I went to Action Bronson in high school. My mom took me to that shit in Action Bronson. Fought one of the security guards at the fucking venue and the whole thing got shut down. <laughs> it, it was pretty sick. Did the Action Bronson win? Dude, he fucking threw him, motherfucker. Really? Yeah, it was like a small dude. He fucking threw him. Jeez. <laughs> this class and stuff like did you instantly know that you were gonna like it yeah i'd say so i'd, I'd, I'd say i was i fell in love very much instantly what about you mm, i got it because i didn't know what class to take because i was already not really into like any classes but then the teacher started turned out to be really cool and stuff and like ended up taking it um three years in a row Damn. Yeah, she was a motorcycle like enthusiast. So like, <laughs> like her and her boyfriend would always go like um, riding with a bunch of bikers like to different states, and she would tell us about it. I was lucky because like up in Oregon they had a ton of great teachers. This motherfucker was working for the Chinese government. Chinese government. I swear to God. Really? I swear to God. <laughs> he used to get high. That was his thing. He would come in and he'd go, "All right, class. Over the weekend." I got a little high. Guess guess how he got high? Hmm. Uh, opiates. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, class? It was a bender. It was a bender. It was a crazy Smoking weekend. Smoking straight, straight plant. <laughs> no, nah, he used to jump off mountains. That was his thing. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, he was like he, a paraglider. He, oh, so he got high off adrenaline. Yeah, literally. High off life. Yeah, he would literally get high. That would be uh, the thing. And all the new kids would be like, what do you mean you got high? And then us OGs would be like, man, you don't even know. There's a million ways to get high. That's a, that's a funny teacher. What made you want to like like this class? I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. It's really fucking hard to draw those blobs. Like the little fucking, you know, on your the three? Mm -hmm. That's just fucked up, homie. <laughs> you gotta be fucked up. You starting again? Yeah, well, we're just exploring. But like this, like in the first blob, it's more like, it's like a, like a C. What was the craziest thing you saw? In, in school? Uh, I remember like some of my friends would pick me up and it'd be like, I don't know, like I forget how, school, how early school was, like eight, 8 in the morning or 7 in the morning. And like the second I would get into their cars, they would already have like bottles of vodka or like some kind of stuff and be like, yo, opposite. yeah, like ready to drink and kind of stuff. <laughs> that was pretty insane. Oh my God. There was a homeless dude behind the movie theater mm -hmm. who got a washing machine. A washing machine? He got a washing machine somehow, somehow. And he plugged it in. And then he was uh, he was giving rides to middle schoolers. <laughs> they would get in and he would turn it on. Oh, like like a spin around and stuff yeah, in there. The spin cycle. Oh man. 
Did you ever try it? Nah, but he was in the fucking newspaper twice for doing that. Really? Yeah, they eventually got rid of him. <laughs> like, like, how they got rid of him? I don't know. Sent, sent him his way. There's a lot of stories. <laughs> There's a lot. Of... Trying to pull a smoke in there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How long did it take you to do Numsy? Mm, I would say because even before Numsy, I was always drawing like a little bit of like some style of a character, so I always had that idea. But it's like three years. Good three years. Yeah, good three years of drawing different stuff and like doing different art adventures and everything, and then figuring out like, okay, this is like a little character I want to draw. It came from the name more. That's like what was the drive? Once I changed my name to Numskull, I was kind of like, I need a little mascot for that name. Did you get the Numsy right? Uh, I think I got them pretty close. You know, it's it's a Numskull. Well, it's a Numsy. Right. Numsy. It's not a Numskull, but it's a Numsy. There's, there's many Numsies. That's the thing about them. So like, they never look wrong. Can they breed? <laughs> no. It's just like one of those like. Like they just like they just like pop out of nowhere. Like yeah, it, they just pop out of nowhere. Yeah, you just hear like a little like, like yeah, and then there's another one. Yeah. Are they ever gonna like stop like in the Numsy universe? Mm -hmm. you know? Like, is there a cap to the amount of Numsies, or do they just like keep? Not that I know of yet, at least. Uh, but they tell me random stuff. What's 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 the, what's the most profound thing one of them has told you? Um. Keep it pushing. <laughs> but I guess, I don't know, I want to go a little bit deeper, deeper into the classes. I want to, I want to get to the juice. The juice, the nitty gritties. How did it like, kind of bring you to here? You know, like how did it impact you and like your journey? Mm, after high school, um, I went to college for like a semester to kind of pursue that that stuff. Yeah. Some of my stuff that I had like like start stopped working, so I had to start just doodling more often because I didn't have anything to do. Right. And yeah, no, like I started like really enjoying. It. I started making like random like collabs of like different things. Like I did like a Hank Hill as like a snail one time. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, I did like um, I did another Hank Hill as like a sushi. Like a little like Hill sushi. like a little like shrimp tempura. So like once I started like doing that kind of stuff and seeing that like if I really did take my time on it, I could like produce that kind of stuff. It got to it got me here. How about you? Did it, did your class kind of influence where, where you are now? Bro, from this class, I was able to not have a job again. Hell yeah. Yeah. No, it was crazy. And then this motherfucker knew what he was doing too, because he would talk about shit like that. Like he took the class seriously, like mm -hmm. say fuck it, you can just go do whatever you want, for, whatever you want for the rest of your life. Oh yeah. There were some people that are really good. Yeah. And that was the thing, because like everybody worked on their own shit. Some people were more creative oriented. Some people were like really like big brain stuff, you know, like just straight, just wizards about the whole thing. These kids like took a printer. And then like they gutted it, and then like they made it into a computer. The whole printer? Yeah, so it was like a printer computer. Cool. It was, and like you plug it in the TV and stuff, it was crazy. What was your favorite memory just from high school period? Uh, I guess school, you know? School. It was just school. Just like the good times with the friends and shit. Like I remember one time, uh, the smoke shop we used to buy cigarettes from. Yeah. One of my friends stole a carton from them. And like, we did it like hella like drive up style. Like our friend was driving. He got out of the car, he goes in there, he's talking to them, and you see him put the car in on the, on the, the, the counter. He asks them something, starts walk, he walks back to like the back area, and the second that he walks back, he grabs the fucking car and runs to the car. We open the door, ju jumps in, and we just drive off. And we had a whole car and a cigarette. This was like 11th grade and shit like that, so that was like hella cigarettes for our age. Oh yeah, right. Me and the homies were big on schemes, all kinds of schemes, every which direction you could fucking imagine. The neighborhood girl, my brother just got out of prison. <laughs> <laughs> just got out of prison. <laughs> <laughs> my jaw's kind of in his gut too. This motherfucker just gets out of prison. <coughs> and then I don't know, like he needed money or something, but I ended up telling him like, yo, if you buy me alcohol, like I'll fucking give you 50 bucks or 20 bucks, whatever the fuck I was giving him, I don't know. Yeah. He was like, yeah, all right, me and the homie Christian. We go drive this fucker to the, liquor, to the liquor store, cause each town only has one liquor store too. That's the thing, you can't even have multiple liquor stores, just one liquor store. Really? Yeah, just one liquor store. So 
to go up to the liquor store and have this fucker buy like, literally like 40 handles worth of fucking alcohol. Enough for like fucking, you know, the entire junior and senior class at the fucking high school. And then we would just set up an operation right outside my garage. Motherfuckers walking up, <laughs> they come get their shit. They made their order. They need this. Or they need that. You know, whatever the fuck. Who knows? You were bootlegging. Oh, I was bootlegging like a motherfucker. It was all of senior year. You guys got any final words for the camera? Anybody watching? If you're in high school, turn up. Yeah. If you're in high school, turn up. Go crazy with it. Go crazy. <laughs> make some art. <laughs> make some art. All right. Now learn how to make a website. This we got to fucking. That's what I did. Make a website within a painting. Make a website. Make a website. Make a website. Make a website. All right, is it time? Yeah. Show it. And then, like, we describe what happened, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, reveal what it is. Like, you know, tell us what your favorite, Ready? what it was. And... Yeah. Do it. Boom. Boom. So mine is a guy, a little numsy, taking a picture, because I took photography class, and I learned a lot from that class. Shout out your teacher. But shout out my photography teacher, she was really cool. But yeah, shout out her, gave me the creativity, and then when my camera broke, I started painting. For me, shout out T. Smith. Shout out T. Smith, computer science teacher of the ages, worked with the Chinese government, got high, taught me how to make websites. What's going on in your painting? Uh, this is uh, numbskull variation, and then it's got binary code in there. And then I didn't finish him. You know, I didn't. I didn't quite finish. I got close, close but no cigar. But he's got a little binary code going on. And if you if you go translate the binary, it actually says uh, Paul Paul's favorites before the culture. And then the last the last one is a little special message. All right, all right, folks. His favorites: Paul Gonzalez, numbskull for the culture.